the world's most advanced cold wallet for the new generation of cryptocurrency lovers. So if you are interested in buying this decent wallet, you can find a link in the description down below where you will get a 20% discount. Thank you very much and let's dig in the video. What's up XRP family? Thank you guys for joining this video for today. So here we have you today saying SEC staff is losing faith in the agency's ability to win the case against Ripple, according to Fox journalist Eleanor Terrett. So let's take a look what they are saying, guys, because there is a lot of talk of settlement in the air. So, okay, let's take a look. The Ripple SEC case appears to be moving forward steadily. In response on the ongoing rumors related to an imminent settlement in the a Ripple SEC lawsuit, crypto law founder John Deaton says he does not see a settlement happening within the next 30 days. The Ripple SEC case appears to be moving forward steadily given current favorable developments. So Johnny Deaton says, I don't see a settlement within the next 30 days. Let's see what Eleanor Terrett is saying. According to a recent tweet by Fox journalist Eleanor Terlett, SEC staff are losing faith. Turns out even staff at the SEC aren't confident they will win the case against Ripple. A source close to the SEC tells me Hester Pierce has expressed privately. She thinks the SEC will not get the outcome it's looking for. Very simple guys, again I will give you my opinion. It's already settled guys. It's already happened between... Uh, the SEC and Ripple, they made the framework that is going to be an example for other cryptocurrencies. It's very simple. Ripple didn't have an ICO. So every coin, every project that had an ICO will have a problem. And that is why Ripple is in this lawsuit. It didn't have an ICO. They are the perfect example for other um, projects or, or companies to actually have this framework set. So they can always refer to this case. That is what's going on here. And that is why everyone is confused. And that is why Hester Pierce says, Ripple is not alone. Hester Pierce also thinks SEC will lose XRP lawsuit. So even Hester Pierce, guys, is saying that she thinks that the SEC will not get the outcome that they are looking for. Here we can see SEC will not get the outcome it's looking for. It has come to Fox Business journalist Eleanor Terrence's attention that even staff at the SEC aren't confident they will win the case against Ripple. A source close to the SEC tells me Hester Pierce has expressed privately she thinks that the SEC will not get the outcome it's looking for. Next court order will be critical. It might be because of lack of clarity that SEC Spears believes the SEC will fail to achieve the outcome it expects against Ripple less and individual defendants. Brett Garlinghouse and Chris Larson. In that case, Ripple's fourth affirmative defense, also known as the Fair Notes defense, will be critical to argue that the SEC failed to provide proper clarity on the matter. That would also provide pre precedent for other crypto businesses that could be targeted by the SEC in the future. Now, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Okay, this is exactly what they are doing. Ripple is the perfect company to put down as an example. From 2014, guys, they have been in talks with the SEC. They have asked for clarity. They have said, give us the framework. What should we do? And they also didn't do an ICO, which means they didn't sell an investment contract. Okay. So, everything just makes sense this is already behind closed doors a done deal we said months ago that there is an initial settlement being discussed between the sec and ripple now many confirm what we said including jeremy hogan look at this guys this is in the ripple uh paper look at this look as rep mchenry and house agriculture so they uh, actually name a lot of people here noted in their letter to sec chair gary gensler Acting Chair Rustin Benman, the SEC and CFTC have existing authority to establish a working group task with exploring how to effectively use their current jurisdiction cooperatively. This work could provide Congress with additional information and clarity to protect against regulatory overreach and ensure proper market oversight mechanisms are in place. Without being too constrictive, a collaborative forum that brings regulators and industry stakeholders together to build a rational and holistic framework for cryptocurrency and blockchain together would represent a step forward 
toward achieving regulatory clarity. We believe clear communication and collaboration between private and public actors will be key in developing an effective policy framework for cryptocurrencies. Why do you think that Ripple is putting this in a paper like that, guys? A real approach to cryptocurrency regulation. Because Ripple is the perfect example of how it should be done. And this is what a lot of people still do not understand. They still think that this lawsuit is something that it's a battle between the SEC and Ripple. But actually it's not. It's a good thing because we will get regulation. XRP will, Ripple will definitely win this case because they cannot lose against the SEC. And I'm telling you behind the scenes, this is all a done deal. GP Morgan releases a new update. Yeah, on the Ethereum Foundation's website, Eleanor Terrett, you need to speak to someone, GP Morgan, if they would talk at all. They are 100% in bed with Ethereum at all 100% trying to knock Ripple out of the game. Now, this is something that is still concerning because GP Morgan is very big, guys. It's, it's, it's a huge bank and they are working with Ethereum, okay? It's even confirmed that Ethereum um, will take over the blockchain and um everything for the gp morgan coin so this is the only thing that i'm concerned about regarding ripple because gp morgan is trying to slow down ripple and take over the the monopoly that ripple is trying to actually have but the thing is ripple is working with more than 300 financial institutions so they cannot just do what they want and now ripple will get that regulatory clarity that they need and then it's time to party guys so i'm really excited to see how this will actually evolve in the future because it is concerning guys if you think cryptocurrency companies like sinfin ripple stellar iota and algo and similar won't have trillions in market capitalizations you better save money in the bank for 0.05 percent a year now this is definitely true guys this is, these are companies that were not here, right? But these are the companies that created the future. Microsoft was creating computers and, and, and a lot of things that we are using now. Apple, we have Google, we have Amazon, we have Tesla, which was created, which created the first electrical cars. Now, all of these things, guys, at the beginning had a lot of problems, regulatory problems. Look now, they are the biggest companies in the world. And this is exactly Maybe from now, from five years from now or 10 years, Ripple, Stellar, stuff like that will be in this list. 100% guys, trust me, because it's gonna take over the whole payment system, financial system, which is huge guys, which is bigger than anything here, okay? Here we have today, new Ripple partner, El Fardon Exchange has connected to Tunes, also a Ripple user to enable instant payments in the UAE to 87 countries. This is an exchange, guys, huge. So you can see, because Ripple is providing the technology, guys, so everyone is hopping on the train. And we are already, like, we are already very late and we are very close to something happening to the XRP price because they didn't start using that liquidity yet. Here you can see, all Farden Exchange teams up with fintech tunes to offer real-time remittances. So here we have Money Transfer Company has teamed up with cross-border payments fintech tunes to offer real-time real remittances amid a drive by UAE exchange houses to hasten their digitization plans to capture new customers and expand their business offerings. Very interesting, guys. Here we have 22 seconds of why GP Morgan hates Ripple, why they sent Gary and this lawsuit, and why they tried to escalate the adoption of ETH to run the GPM coin. Exactly what I was talking about, guys. Super pushing and also a lot of money attached to those settlements. For sure. So we have over 100 banks working with Ripple today around the world. Uh, I think the vast majority of banks, like 99.9% .9 of banks, actually are paying other banks, the kind of the global money set of banks, like JP Morgan or Citibank, to make those settlements. So a lot of the banks are very excited about democratizing how these global payments flow.
We're pushing and also this is a huge problem for JP Morgan because Ripple is solving that problem. We just deleted a tweet that referenced an up upcoming settlement between Ripple and the SEC. This could not be 100% verified, even if there are almost pertinent indications that there will actually be an agreement between the parties. We want to be careful and not give false hope. So really be careful what you see out there, guys. Like, it's not 100%. We are still waiting. There's talks of settlement in the air, but I already told you my opinion. So be ready because it's very soon that we will hear this in the news. 16 points proving SEC cannot win a lawsuit against Ripple. Again, a lot of points made by uh, Johnny Deaton's website. You can go check it out, guys. It's really good. He actually explains why... Um, SEC cannot win this lawsuit anymore against Ripple. So check it out. Thank you very much for watching this video. See you in the next one. Cheers.